everyone <laughs> welcome to Hell. podcast number 11 um first podcast back from japan what i'm gonna explain this in a second what the fuck you got there i had rob go pick up something because i have some stories from japan that i want to share with you guys oh. since uh, we just got back and i've been withholding them did you got bring me something a in his hands did you bring me a child yes okay did you bring Perfect. me a child no, no. Rob was you already are a child. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, true. Oh gosh. Valid. I actually so on the way back, I literally had zero room left in my bags. Like my duffel bag was almost bursting at the seams. Like actually? I'm honest, I'm surprised it didn't break. Would I had you, so much shit. From what? Why? Just like so souvenirs. Random and stuff? shit. It was all my clothes. Like I had to bring like my uh naps or sorry, what's it called? A uh, laptop, uh cameras, cables, everything. So just add it up. Did you and vlog while you're there? I did, but I don't think it's going to turn into a video because, like, I started off recording everything, and I'm really awkward in front of a camera. So I was like, "You're just, hey, you're just talking to your chin the whole time." Yeah, so like, I, I don't <laughs> think it's going to. He has, a, he has the thing going coming down up onto his face. He's like holding it down here. <laughs> I don't think it's going to turn into anything. Uh, you should try actual. it. Try and chop it up and see. That's it. some second channel shit for sure. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was the plan. <laughs> I would love to see it personally. Can you expand that voice? It's really bothering me. <laughs> sure. Thank but you. anyways, um. So the story that I want to tell about this little thing I have in my hand. Can we, can we pass around like show and tell style? Sure. We've already examined it. Or is it. it like real solid gold? Holy yeah, it's solid gold. Fuck. I was given to it. Or given it to me by a monk. A, Shaol- a Shaolin monk that Christian traveled two days up a giant mountain to, to locate. What the fuck is this? <laughs> so what I learned, and I feel pretty dumb for not knowing this. I did not know that majority of Japan is Buddhist, right? Because for okay. some reason I always thought like Buddhism, like taiwan tibet like all those places i never really thought about japan Strange. yeah but so when we went to uh <laughs> you're just chocolate sorry. No, i've already examined it we uh when we the went chocolate. <laughs> when we were in tokyo we went to a bunch of temples right okay mm-hmm. and the one that we went to is called shinji i think mm-hmm. g means mm-hmm. temple you probably so pronounced it wrong but we'll, i'm pretty slide. sure it's just shin temple okay. yeah but it's the biggest temple in all of tokyo and so we're walking around, we're looking at a couple of the buildings. Flex, but okay. <laughs> we're looking at a couple of the buildings, and then when we're wrapping things up, we're like, I think it was like me, Macy, and Priest. And we're like, all right, let's head out. We've seen everything here. And we're walking what a squad. We're walking by. And gang, before gang. this, I'd just seen a monk, like the orange robe monks. The mm-hmm. ones that you see on TV all the time. The you're crouching like, tiger, hidden dragon type. Like ones. hunbats, but a human. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like an actual monk. And then I noticed that when we were walking past him, he had an iPhone in his like a uh, fanny That's pack. Not allowed. That's and then he also had sort of AirPods. No. What and, he, and he had Crocs. What? Oh, <laughs> what? what? He's just ripping like a little bit of a new age monk. A modern so, monk. So right away, like when we were walking and I saw that, I was like, this feels a little weird. Like, why are the monks walking around with iPhones and AirPods? Because they're supposed to like <laughs> renounce all their worldly possessions. Yeah, they're supposed or, to be right? like Mennonites. I think. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Anyways, um, and then the same cloth. (laughs) And then, so when we're walking out, another monk appears, but he's wearing like all brown. So I was like, okay, what's the deal here? And he comes up to us and he's just like, peace, peace. We're like, okay, he's going to like try to. We come in peace. He's going to try to like (laughs) preach something to us. So we stop. And then he hands out this little tag that you guys saw. And each time he hands it to one of us, he's like, peace, peace. And we're like, oh, okay, thank you. Like, it's a little like Buddhist thing. Yeah. Um, A little souvenir. And so we start walking away and then he's like, hey 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 hey! and then we all turn around again and he hands us a notepad and we're like oh are we supposed to just like write down our name is this some type of like <laughs> just start drawing dicks my signing like, a petition you yeah know, like, some like Hong Kong. worship thing i don't know and then we look at it and the last thing was like someone's name and it said like ten thousand yen which is a hundred dollars us and we're like oh it's oh, a donation so thing want some money. so he handed that to us expecting us to donate so priest goes first writes down a thousand yen which is ten bucks Gives it to the guy. It's a big baller brand out here. Yeah, Macy okay, goes, okay. gives five bucks. And then I was like, in this entire time, I was looking in my pocket because I didn't have any change. <laughs> oh, there's then, always one. And, and then you um, saw the fat stack. <laughs> and then I only had enough to get back to the hotel via subway plus $2. Mm-hmm. So all I could give him was just 200 yen. <laughs> and then, so I write it down. I didn't even get to write it down. I had just the coins in my hand. He just takes the book from me. And um, he I give him the coins. He just looks at it and just looks right at me and laughs in my face like (laughs) just staring at me laughing i'm like i'm sorry and he's just like shaking his head like this is nothing to me and just walks away i was like take it he's like keep it you probably need it more than i do what a did this guy just like 
hustle us like he doesn't yeah, care about did. the donations he just takes the money and that's runs like when away. we were in san diego those guys trying to get us to like he's like oh yo i just got this rap album here like take a copy and then they ask for money <laughs> yeah same dude just different place it's like maybe he, he wasn't even a proper monk. Every, man he was in a halloween costume for sure. or like you know what i mean maybe you guys were just fell to the tourist trap of, maybe oh 100 what, what, what uh, He's like, like I, I recognize these guys from Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> well, I, know more, gaming? I know they more have more than tw- 200 yen. <laughs> He's like, this Varsity Gaming, you have two Teslas, but you can't give me <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> you talk all, all, all the time about your cars and fancy lifestyle. He's here offering me 200 yen. <laughs> <laughs> what is this shit? Yeah. <laughs> but, but the thing that made me feel weird about it was just like, why is this guy in like a brown monk robe? Yeah. Whereas the other guy was orange with AirPods and an iPhone. It's like... like it's illegal to impersonate the military forces in North America. So he's probably like had a brown uniform. So he wasn't impersonating a monk. <laughs> so it's like the people who are on like Hollywood Boulevard who impersonate the movie stars, but don't have like the symbols. They're yeah, just exactly. like, oh, I'm Spider-Man without the spider symbol. Yeah, yeah. Or that guy in Toronto. Genius. There's like the one guy by Ripley's and he's there every day working on the grind, just looking like Spider-Man. Legend. Just grinding away. Grinding. <laughs> what yes. kind of, what'd you eat while you were there? So, um, actually, let me rephrase that. What was your favorite question. meal that you ate? Yeah. And then your least favorite meal, and then everything in between. Here we go, Mr. Waigu. Um, so, obviously, yeah. The, <laughs> the win is the, yeah, easy. The oh, Kobe, so the my, Kobe my beef steak. Play, like, steak. That was the most expensive meal I've ever had, but so fucking good. Was it was unbelievably mm-hmm. good. What? The Wagyu steak? Or yeah. Whatever? So, it was a six or seven course meal Must where they, every single course had like a piece of Wagyu beef. Which Wagyu just means like the cows that are from Japan. It's like champagne. Basically, yeah. What's what's so special about their cows? They're just like the highest quality of meat you can. Like, aren't so they like, like how do you how, like how massage does, and stuff? I was gonna say, how does one make a cow high quality? Yeah. Well, it's just give them like a hat. <laughs> it's just a cow. I don't know. They it's just like it's a type of. They basically raise uh, like the laziest, fattest cows. Yeah. They so just, like there's so fat in like between everything. Super yeah. marbled yeah. They spoil and super and tender. They like gotcha. spoil a, a cow and like pamper the shit out of it. So it's like it has no stress because some of it's like stress makes the meat more tough. Maybe mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I remember I heard that somewhere. Really? Yeah. It's like Jeez. yeah, because well, sure. it's, it's muscle, right? So those yeah. cows are living a better life than we are. Yeah, and oh, yeah. Just, but then they get chopped up and eaten. So yeah. and but it's like it's very fucking expensive because <laughs> of how good they take care of so, them. So but like the more the more they move around and everything, the more the muscles get worked, the harder they are, less tender, and so they have like a belt. Else. Like do they just get carried around <laughs> i don't understand they have like, little, like, they have little hover chairs they're just pampered they're lazy and pampered Shit. okay so it must be nice the place we went to was called 511 because they have a5 steaks like here you you go to the grocery store and you're like oh i'm getting a triple a steak or whatever and that's the highest mm-hmm. thing you can get there it's a5 and then um the 11 means 11 on the marbling thing which i mm-hmm. think is like the fat right but that's yeah. like the highest quality you can get okay. so it's literally the highest possible quality of steak you can find and that's what the place is called yeah, five one. It's already a win. That's a flex. <laughs> yeah, half. yeah. So um, they only serve the highest quality, and so all of the courses in the meal, or all the meals in the course, uh, were some type of Japanese dish with Kobe beef inside. Mm-hmm. Usually, like little strips, but I mean, whatever. that that monk probably washes dishes for five one one, and saw you balling out with <laughs> yeah. the six course meal, <laughs> and then he's like, "Oh, you spent all your money on two hundred yen for that little me." <laughs> but so we ordered that. I was a little afraid because when we first got there. I told all the guys, like it was me, Macy, Priest, and Flanks going. And I told them, I Name sent them drawing. the menu. And I was just like, I was just like. Me and all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> me and the lads. <laughs> I sent them the menu. I was like, this is going to be really expensive. But like, this is what I want to do. And I was like, if you guys don't want to come, I'm going to go by myself because I'm not going to pass up the opportunity <laughs> since I'm in Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, We're trendsetter too. Okay. <laughs> okay, fuck off. Let me guess it was a but, menu that didn't have any prices. No, they no, had they prices. Do. Oh, God. But I, I looked I it up opened, online. Oh, God. You open the menu and the first thing you see is $250 for the first thing. And it was just like a typical bottle of wine like nothing special mm-hmm. there's just a little car icon beside yeah. it <laughs> it's just like you have to sell your car to buy all this so all the prices i'm giving are us um and then i started looking at the stakes and when i looked online they were like oh there's like a 40 dollar, 80 dollar. i was like oh you know it's something and then when i was actually looking at them it was like 150 250 300 dollars. i was like Locked. holy I was gonna 40 say, to 30 like, go. this seven course meal online was 140 mm-hmm so the 40 that i was looking at is just an 80 gram steak how and big is that 80 grams of it's like steak. probably about like rob literally it's has that it's tiny. Breakfast. yeah like it's five nothing, of them bro. it's like a two it's ounce nothing. or three ounce steak something that's like a that. snack before a snack exactly yeah. so i was like we're not going to order just a 40 dollar little piece so then um i was happy because 
for a bit all of them were like pretty hesitant and then mm. priest is like fuck it we came all the way here i'm ordering the seven course meal i was like, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I was like i'm ordering it too and then flank's like fuck it i'll get like a bunch of things you don't want to get the full course and macy's like you know what fine i'll join in mm -hmm. and we all got it and it made the experience a lot better because when they came out I've never seen such service where they had like three butlers for our table. <laughs> and then whenever they would bring out the food, one girl would come up and she'd explain the meal. Like the in English? Yeah. No. no. That's why. <laughs> That's a fair fucking no, question. No, it's not. That's a fair no, question. It's not. In downtown Tokyo, it's like a half and half question. Yeah, they're gonna a come up and explain English. it. You're just gonna stare at them? No, they're gonna try to speak English to you. What do you mean? That's, That's a, a stupid they're, 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 question. Wait, what language do they fair speak? Question. Mandarin? Ja Japanese. Japanese. Oh, my oh god. god. Oh my god. That was oh. not a fair question. Jesus. Rob. My geography is oh, through no. the fucking shitter. He's in yeah. Japan. Geometry's not doing. So geometry <laughs> anything that ends in a the, tree the is trig not, is be not well. <laughs> yeah. but anyways so anywho they come through and they explain every part of the meal they're like <laughs> if you're this still is, listening they're like this is the first dish it's uh like a starter dish popular in japan this is like what each thing is made out of and there was like everything was just little samples of popular things and they were so good and then they would always like come between and like clean everything, take everything away, and go again and again and again. Just, like grits of wet lit. wipes, like wiping. <laughs> they, had, they had wet wipes and everything. It was perfect. But then give me a head massage. <laughs> so I got the, um, I got the seven course meal, but the steak I chose was the one hundred gram. I don't know what it's or how it's pronounced, like Chardonnay or something. It's supposed Chardonnay. To That's just a type of wine. I'm just guessing. No, it, <laughs> it starts with a ch or something, but it's supposed to be like the most like rare and decadent it's yeah, like second and part C H A U C something is yeah, that how you spell it yeah i think i have seen, heard of or something before. it's supposed charcuterie? to be charcuterie something like that i don't know <laughs> no <laughs> but i i got the best one and honestly hot chocolate <laughs> even though it was like 300 dollars for the meal it was well worth it because like the steak you just put in your mouth and it literally melts oh, like, you barely you don't yeah. even have to bite it it just man i can't melts. Again, real. so like, do you do you like choose the size of the steak and then yes. they cut it up throughout the courses or is it like you have the courses and each gives you a piece and at the end they just plop a steak in front of you? No, each of the uh, <laughs> like courses has a piece of beef, but like it doesn't take it away from your steak. You the still dessert? get the full. So, so, but like when does the steak come in? At the end. Okay. Right before so, dessert. So you literally get like seven courses and then they, the seventh course is just a steak that yeah. you get to eat. Is it like portions? Oh, yeah, is it like six. portion so that you can like what? not get too full. Oh, sorry. Seventh is a slice like, of I was lettuce. getting really full. Like, you know how like when you're at a, I don't know, <laughs> East Side Mario's or something like that. Can't really compare the two, but, <laughs> okay. but when so East Side, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I like where this is going. I they, like where this is going. They load you up on like bread and like salad. No, it's not like that. And you, you look at his Instagram. It's got like the picture. They're all pretty small. I guess so. Yeah. Like, like his dessert was literally three grapes, a slice of mango, and like some green onion, <laughs> iced. <laughs> Actually, one of those was that'll an be a hundred dollars, please. Yeah. An egg. That was a quail egg. What? A quail was it? Egg? How was it? The yellow thing. It was surprisingly pretty good what the so you had fuck? steak and eggs who eats eggs for dessert what the fuck no it was one of was was that i don't i don't think that was dessert i'll, I'll look at my instagram mm -hmm. but man do um, it online no i want to i want to see <laughs> yeah. you can pass just, the phone around well <laughs> so bottom line it was a really fucking good meal though oh yeah like i would never do it again or actually i'd probably do it again yeah, come but, on. Uh, if, you're, if you're making the trek out to japan you might as well splurge yeah i, I, I feel like it would just be like well you're only here twice you may as well do it again <laughs> i'll be back next summer you're only here 50 times <laughs> exactly well he just starts off a tab for this <laughs> yeah. place just actually put it jokes. on my tab actually no yeah you're right the the grapes were the ending but i don't actually i don't <laughs> think that was the quail like i think the quail egg like, was uh Mark it, look on mine. at the beginning part oh it's what right next to the red leaf gonna give this guy quail legs but it, that one I didn't expect because I thought when they pointed at it, I thought they said it was a mango it. and then I just popped the egg in my mouth and I'm like, this is not a mango. <laughs> <laughs> this is very like Wait, so this is, the, this is the dessert I'm looking at? No, the last picture is the dessert. You have to like dig through those leaves oh, to get the quail the egg. <laughs> oh yeah. And so every oh, single so time like they would bring out. Is that like mayo and pomegranate or is that yogurt? No, there was no yogurt. It was like a, I don't know. It was something you had to dip the figs into. Figs too? It's so mm -hmm. weird seeing my own like account doing reflection? things on someone no, else my reflection too but like <laughs> seeing my name and like my account picture it's like holy fuck so strip trippy Robin. anyways that's a pretty cool picture though why, why the leaf is it because they knew you guys were or you were canadian or no something? i think it was just, just uh, decoration uh, decoration because they're, they're like it's autumn that's the, the one uh, thing of those okay. fancy like everything is like presented you so nice mm-hmm 
Is, it, is that his power stance picture? Yeah, yeah no, that, that made me power laugh. Power up. That's what one stance. <laughs> That's yeah. what Annie said. As soon as she saw the photo, she's just like, you just take, take this power stance and stare at the it's camera. Like, like, it's not a bad picture. Just the stance does like an American Eagle model or something. Just like in the well, middle of like a fucking. It's always, he has the sweatpants on. He looks like he just like came it. back yeah. from a parkour session. It's because so <laughs> I just I just put my hands in my pocket, but because. Park hour. Because the camera was at like a low angle, you can see like between my arms, and it looks like they're off to the side, but they're really like right next to me. It just looks a little. Uh, who was taking the picture? Uh, that one. Were they like lying on the ground? Like, <laughs> yeah. what, what is this? Yeah, why didn't you give them photo creds? The... Yeah. Because I couldn't remember that. That one was either flanked or uh, Macy took that what? one. You're a but... dick, man. Didn't that get like five <laughs> k likes? Yeah, bro. Should he, should... Oh my oh. god! What an asshole! Can't even show out the photo credit. Oh, Two dollars and now this. <laughs> the fame's Jeez. gotten to his head already, bro. <laughs> Can't even donate to a Shaolin monk on the street. <laughs> We've lost him. We've lost him, man. He steals his freaking good luck term thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have no idea what the fuck this is supposed to be. It's definitely cardboard. Yeah, it's cardboard with like some. I don't even know. Okay, what was well, the worst meal you had, though? If you, unless you had another story about that, but worst meal. Um, all of them were actually pretty good. Like, <laughs> all of the other ones suck. <laughs> in comparison, sure. <laughs> yeah, in comparison, they did suck. But I honestly think the only meal that was pretty bad was at the convention itself because they just oh, have like yeah. like mass catering, so it's nothing crazy. Yeah. Um, what kind of food was it at the convention? Yeah, we got like curry and rice and. Like bread and then so not burgers. No. <laughs> what did you get at McDonald's? I saw the fries. I got fries and an apple pie. I wasn't too hungry. <laughs> you gotta try a burger. <laughs> but fair. If I, I was not. <laughs> you got fries and apple pie. <laughs> I was not like I would not have been able to eat a burger because we had just eaten dinner before. Man, but that. it's why good. Yeah, no, dude, it's not. Dude, even why in even McDonald's, actually, McDonald's, dude, even in McDonald's bro, every beef is whatever that well, kind of beef okay, is. Okay, so I was confused when we were 11. when we were there because <laughs> when I was trying to find a nice steak place, I was like, Wagyu beef, I'll look it up. And then almost every restaurant in all of Tokyo was like, this is a place where you get Wagyu beef and it's like $5, $8. I'm like, what? No, what? what this, isn't, this isn't Wagyu. So you're telling me you could have got that $250 meal for $5. Yeah, no, that's, but then, that's the and real And you played scam everybody. Yeah. <laughs> no, so that's when I found out that Wagyu just means it's a cow from Japan. Oh. But then... Well, it's like, oh, I didn't know. Wagyu's Kobe, Kobe, a place in Japan. Or, yeah. From there. But then I was like, Kobe beef is the, like... Kobe beef? Kobe <laughs> is the, the decadent You want stuff. the Kobe Wagyu, the combo. Yeah. You want Jeez. this cow... You want this beef draining shots in your face yeah, right literally. before you eat it. <laughs> getting, cro- getting crossed over by a cow. Yeah. I want to eat that thing. <laughs> yeah, so wait, you said you got scammed. Yeah. What? Wait, was it? Was the monk the one that scammed you or is that a different story? No, that was the monk that scammed me. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. He just begged for our money and then laughed in my face and walked away. I was like... All <laughs> All right. I see tomorrow Christian stream is sponsored by this restaurant he was at. <laughs> yeah. Yo, if they, if they send you like... Wagyu beef. They, they do that. Beef through the mail? No, they, they no, don't. Dude, yeah, they do. I know a hockey 100%. player. Yo, you know Brent Burns? Yeah. Uh-huh. He has yeah, a sponsorship personally. with uh, some sort of Wagyu beef company. They send him full cows of Wagyu beef. Yeah, yeah but he's also... It's also Brent Burns, yeah, the NHL see, hockey this player. Yeah, making Who's, 7, 8 million man, a he, year. He just has a... He's a hockey player. Look at yeah. America. Like, he has oh, a giant... No. Like, That's my favorite like, segment. If, if, no. you, if you were to guess, like, what someone who, like, has a professional sponsorship with Wagyu beef looks like in the NHL... Please, you would not up. guess it's like a giant bearded guy missing teeth. Like, you, also, you, you would guess like it's like John Taveras or someone. Yeah. Like, man, he also has like six hundred acres in Texas with an exotic animal yeah. farm. Mm-hmm. Like he has giraffes and shit. He's a he's, beauty. He's man. also come out many times and said <laughs> yeah. he's like, I'm not fixing my teeth because they keep getting knocked out because he's lost his teeth like three times. Yeah. So he's yeah. like, I'm leaving them. He doesn't he's, have front teeth. He might be my favorite That's player like, in the NHL. That's, what, is it James Neal just wears dentures. <laughs> yeah, that literally can pop in and out. Yeah, it's everyone's gross. like, "Oh, isn't teeth? They're so nice. They're literally no. dentures." But he, okay, Burns did that like three times. He's like, "I've broken like three sets taking pucks <laughs> to the mouth. I'm not doing it anymore." Why don't you just wear a mask? Because then you get fucking, yeah, then it's, you get it Brent, ripped off and you get punched in the face because you're wearing a mask. It's Brent Burns. He's too gritty. And for like a the mask. mask, like for a lot of those guys who haven't used it, obstructs your view. Like at yeah. certain points. So mm. I don't know, like that much the point that well, when you've you've had. Like, think of, like, your car, your windshield, and then putting a freaking, like, cage, cage on your yeah. windshield. You get used you're to gonna it. You're going to hate it. You'll get used to it, but you're going to hate guess. it. So, I brought up Brent Burns as a nice segue to our next topic regarding hockey of Don Cherry. 
I don't want to hear. Every, I don't want to hear <laughs> everyone. My least favorite segment. I wanted to hear. No, we'll make it quick. I just wanted to hear everyone's knee-jerk reaction to what happened. See ya. Yeah, I, you, I still, he was an old senile man. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you want me to say? I, I'm, I'm sure it's got global. I'm not maybe not global attention, but at least across North America. Literally no. Yeah. Just Canada. Just yeah. like no well, one else cares about hockey care. night in Canada. Shit? No. No one else cares I about hockey night in Canada. I just figured because they fired him for like a sort of like I can understand why they fired him. But like he, like, so for context, he made his Don Cherry is like how old is he? Like what? 80? 85. He's been on this segment and and on a ver, on every hockey game and every Saturday of hockey in Canada, he has a segment which is really famous at the first intermission. First intermission, and he usually just kind of freaks out about random shit, gets everyone's names wrong. Can't pronounce it's, Europeans. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty funny. He's always been like had racial undertones, sort of. It's pretty funny. He has racial undertones. No, like, <laughs> like it's just fucked. And then like just recently, like he, it's the poppy thing in canada i'm not sure if that's another so that's north thing. that's not a u.s thing i found out I, it's, it's only mm-hmm. like the uk canada and australia that do it oh, okay so anyways you were a poppy in the month of november to commemorate fallen soldiers and then anyways don cherry took it upon himself to tell everyone around that was watching the show like you he says you people aren't wearing poppies and they said you people come to canada and don't wear poppies etc 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 i just kind of got worse from there so the crazy thing about this is if he hadn't said you come be- to Canada, yeah. like he could have said you people and that would have been fine because yeah. it would have been like you people as in the poppy wearers. But he as soon as you it. say come yeah. to Canada, that's when you it might not would, said it. It might not have been what he meant, but like he, he He's just it. too old and like, yeah. but like the thing is, like he's, I think he was like one like thing like this away from being oh, fired 100%. anyway. It's like he's a loose can at this point. Like they, he's, were, they were probably looking for a reason to yeah, can Yeah, because like he's had some pretty offside stuff before about like, who does he hate? French Canadians, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, oh, he yeah. doesn't. Huh? That's well, fair. That's, that's a fair take. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quebec. But he's yeah. just like freaking out about them on live national. Or well, he hates Canadian like, TV. The funny thing is, like, it's not racist. Like, wherever you like, like certain areas, like Canada plays a certain style of hockey. America plays a certain style of hockey. Europeans yeah. and Russians play. He hates the European and Russian style yeah. of hockey. So then, when he's watching them play, he just torches them. Mm-hmm. It's not racist or anything, but it's just he says they're too like pretty, right? Yeah. So not the weird pretty thing enough. is, the whole segment is an opinion piece. Yeah. yeah. Which, and relative to other things he said in the past, it's not, it's not bad. Too bad. No. Oh yeah. But he had it coming. Yeah. Like and he's like, he's said bad stuff about women for years. Yeah. Like bad is, stuff. Like the issue is, is they don't label it as an opinion piece, so it can't be an opinion piece. Yeah. But it is. But it truly is. It's his. It's literally just taking his hot take. Yeah. The whole the whole first period intermission is Ron having his opinions, or sorry, Don having his opinions, and Ron just reeling like, him back in. Yeah, yeah. Being like, all right, we only got so many minutes left. That that is coach's <laughs> corner. Yeah. Wait. So what do you mean? Like, what's your whole thing about it being an opinion piece? Like that. Just or You're literally it's like, just what do you what do you to, so they, they probably have a board in the background being like hey this is what we're talking about and then don just spirals wherever the hell he wants to take yeah he was if like he dem- likes it he'll take it that way if he hates it he takes it that way he was like demands like to them pull up a random footage from things that we're going to talk about and then is like and then they can't find the footage <laughs> yeah. like, it's like a split second he's like oh this goddamn place doesn't even have my footage ready <laughs> and stuff like, like that roasting the guys by <laughs> the camera like, you <laughs> just called an audible on live <laughs> <Yeah>. tv <laughs> it's so funny and then he's into his next segment and they bring up the footage he was just talking yeah. about <laughs> yeah he's it was a bit of a train wreck did anyone but... watch this saturday what happened they just had was, like Ron apologized yeah. and then they uh they just interviewed Wickenheiser Wickenheiser oh, yeah. right. that's cheating there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah, it was right. it was brutal. It was a tough scene for Canada, but he he I like, was, like it was the only right course of action. I, I was think. in a pub uh watching it and they didn't have it was like a upscale Toronto bar so they didn't have the volume playing. Mm-hmm. Everyone at the bar was yelling at the manager, "Turn the fucking volume on. <laughs> I want to hear what's going on." <laughs> Like and the she's Saturday like, one, or yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. she's like, no, I can't turn the volume. On. We we're like, it's code what? Code <laughs> what? Turn it on. It's the first coach's corner without Don Cherry. Literally, like forty something. Nobody years. in the bar yelling except Drew. Drew's, <laughs> Drew's standing on no, the bar man. counter, like, <laughs> well, it's because he blacked out, and then Bree's just like, yeah, it was everyone in the bar. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Pat him on the back. Bree's filling the gaps, like, jeez. Yeah, and there was there was one New York Islanders fan watching the Islander or Rangers, one of the two, one of the New Yorks, and he was like sitting by himself just pumped whenever they score oh, gross. he's like yeah let's go guys we're like dude you're in toronto like, what, <laughs> what are you expecting like who was a fan of the new york islanders anyways that's yeah. a grimy franchise yeah. grime but anyway so uh speaking of racism oh Uh-oh. another thing just recently happened i think it was yesterday i've never heard of this person before but someone called amber Liu. 
or Amber something. Or no idea who sure. that is. Apparently a K-pop star or something. I don't know. Probably oh, I did right. actually hear about this. Yeah. So <laughs> she was on a podcast, <laughs> I think, or some type of show. Yeah. And you guys heard about the whole incident that happened recently where the cop arrested the black guy for eating a sandwich on the subway platform, right? I didn't yeah. hear that story, to be no. honest. No? Okay, so basically... Is there more to is, it? Is that pretty much all there is to it? That's it. Yeah, they like literally... the, the guy's literally just eating a, a sandwich on the subway platform, and a cop comes up and says that's illegal and starts berating him. But to be fair, it is illegal. But it was like, it was you don't need to do it. Yeah. There's no point. Just be like, hey, just put your sandwich away, bud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then... Wait, wait, why the is that illegal? Yeah, why is that illegal to begin with? <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure, like, wasn't it... Is it in New York? I don't know. I, it's probably New York. I didn't actually watch it. But I, like, I, I heard the summary and then I It's like a cleanliness that. thing. I guess. Like garbage. Like you rats and homeless garbage people everywhere. And shit. Yeah. I don't think then, it is New York, but regardless. Yeah. Something like that would not be something to be arrested over. No, be not like at all. A fine or a, a fine, ticket. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that whole thing came out. People were saying the cops should be fired. And it was all about like the racial undertones of it. And then whatever the, was it a podcast, you know? or mm-hmm. Yeah. So they were on a podcast. They're interviewing this K-pop person. And she's just like, oh, well. You know, in situations like that, she's like, even though there might be some like racial tension, you should always just have respect for the police and respect for the police force and stuff like that. And basically saying like he shouldn't have been defensive, that he should have just like let it happen. Yeah. And then everyone went fucking ballistic on mm-hmm. her. And she was basically saying like, oh, like black people need to just stop worrying about the police and stuff like that. So people so were like, K-pop's pe- racist too. Yeah, yeah people were, went fucking ballistic. Like, and justifiably so yeah. because what she said is racist. It's, it's, the thing is, is like, it's one of those two where, again, the cop could have done many things different mm-hmm. and so could have this guy. Like, they're yeah. both just being dicks and they caught each other each on a bad day. I was just and they say. just keep spiraling up and up and up till you're getting arrested. Now. These stories, I think, all come out of like, just two people having a really shitty day. And then bang. And then they just meet up and in and and some sort of circumstance. Uh, and I see. Then, yeah. I feel like now most of them do. Actually, the older stories were all like, no, it's just a racist white cop. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, eh, 50, there was, 50, I would still yeah. say that it's more the cop's fault, though, because there's no reason why he should like be what? escalating in the first place. Correct. Yeah. Again, and you're like, right. Like, write him a fine. Write yeah. him a ticket then. Just yeah. be like, sorry, sir, you can't but do that. Write a fine. Leave again, it. the thing yeah. is, is like, you need your, the dude's ID for that. Yeah. Um, You're starting that shit storm that way, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's no, he, he's doing his job, and they both just, escalated yeah like they're both they're both like they both are in, in a sense have like a like a duty to do what they're doing minus maybe eating a sandwich mm-hmm. or have to do that yeah it just but seems like, so ridiculous yeah but it, it just seems so ridiculous that, that like it, both of them should have realized at one point it's a sandwich on a subway station <laughs> yeah like who the fuck cares and but yeah i don't know today's today's day and age i'm not surprised something like that would blow up mm-hmm. but yeah I don't know. You hear lots of stories. Like, there's lots of clear, clearly racist stories that you hear from the United States of like unarmed black teenagers being shot like in convenience stores and stuff, which is just horrible. And then you hear, and then it's like, like that kind of paints the picture for like everything else that happens mm-hmm. in the rest of the year in terms of law enforcement. So it's like, there's 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 obviously like things that happen which suck, and then this kind of paints a bad picture for the rest of the year though. Mm-hmm. So things like this, it's, yeah, other things could have happened. Everyone just can just pull on these stories that have happened in the past and make whatever narrative they want. So that's my take. Don't wear it out. Armchair lawyers. This is uh, Rob's coach's corner. This is Rob's <laughs> corner. I'm waiting for the racial undertones to set no, man. in. I didn't, not, not, none of those vibes here. No, not from no. my end. Yeah. By cool, the way, cool uh, vibes only. He's a yeah, reformed yeah. Don. By the way, though, uh, what are they speaking in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin? <Chinese>? Or Mandarin? <laughs> Cantonese? <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> man, the thing I don't understand about Mandarin and Cantonese, I was always told growing up that like saying people speak Chinese is racist. Me too. I heard that also. And then, so I was like, it was always, it's either Mandarin or Cantonese. And now everyone's like, oh, they speak Chinese. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like, I just, haven't heard anyone say that. A, a, dude, Man, that a teacher told me that. No, no, no. All, all growing up, like I was told that saying people speak Chinese is racist. No, yeah. I never, I've never heard someone recently say, oh, they're speaking Chinese. Oh, I have. What do you say? I, I hear always, Chinese I always people hear people say, people say Mandarin. Mandarin. No, I always say Chinese. Okay, well, I, I, I didn't even know because like, like, I don't know the two. No, like, is it a I, dialect? I'm the same as Shane. It's like I'm not so doing it to be sensitive. There's similarities, just, but they're yeah. pretty, they're like different though. I think, what is it? Mandarin is like mainland China. Sure. And I think there's like formal Mandarin and informal Mandarin. Sure. When I think Mandarin and Cantonese, I think like restaurant and different food type. Like, like honeydew and <laughs> cantaloupe? To be fair, no. <laughs> to be fair, before someone calls you out as racist, that's actually the name of a restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. Man- the Mandarin, Mandarin name of a restaurant. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but that's all I think of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Mandarin's pretty good. I like it a lot. It was the last time you guys went there. 
like <laughs> two weeks ago, probably ten years like ago, some sort of birthday party. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not that good considering. Mm. No, it's yeah. it's not Tucker's level or the King's Buffet or King's yeah, Buffet is a little better. Yeah. yeah, Tucker's isn't supposed to be like all you can eat. Chinese. It's literally all you can eat American food. Comparing all you can eat to all you can eat. Oh, when you were both the Chinese, the Chinese. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with Drew. You should no, not be comparing all you can eat. Why? What do you? What do you compare the man? They're very well, it'd different. Be like, it's it'd like, be like, oh, let me compare Subway to Taco Bell just because they're both takeout. No, I, you guys are on some. We're just some, like on some shit. I'm saying like if you're gonna compare restaurants, you should compare like. Then what like, do you compare? Then you can only compare the Mandarin to King's Buffet, and King's Buffet is better. No, there like, you go. So it's all you can. <laughs> it's all you can eat buffet, and the Great Mandarin has change. like chicken strips and pizza and shit there anyway. Oh yeah, so they do. Like, you can Fair. compare. Oh, okay, fine. You can compare it to tacos. Then. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you, you can are. get those like you, you at the where where I get my pasta at, like the thing where they they cook it fresh. You can get like a little freaking. Uh, Bowl. I don't know what you call it though. Oh, like the man. A stir bowl, dude. There's that's uh, close enough. What's that one restaurant called where it's like uh, you can like you pick up like meat, pasta, veggies, and they just throw on a giant skillet in front of you. What was the I place was just called? there literally Cuba? yesterday. The Mongolian, uh, Mongolian Grill. Grill. Yeah, oh, that I literally went there yesterday. Oh what? man, you that's want to go there tomorrow so too? Drew, because no, you're literally <laughs> shitting yourself. No, I don't want to go. Oh yeah, so Drew, then you can't climb for the rest of the year. I get food poisoning. <laughs> what? what wait, you so you're actually shitting yourself? Yeah, I think it's food poisoning. <laughs> when did yeah, this occur? This morning, Shane's just like, oh, are oh, you yeah. going to come rock climbing with me? Uh, and I was like, oh, maybe. And he's like, oh, Drew's not coming. Like, classic. He's like, yeah, he's literally been, like, diarrhea for the last 24 hours. Dude, I oh, felt, gosh. I, I sent what I, like, I, I felt bad because I roasted so hard. And then I was like, then you said something at LOL. And I was like, yeah, to be honest, it's fair. <laughs> but, like, I can't, what did I say? It was something I don't like, know. I roasted so oh, hard. Oh, you see his Drew's, yeah, like, half up the wall. There's just, like, a brown drop. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Like, literally, I just fed I, to him. I don't remember these rocks being brown on the yeah. way up you put your, pull your hand off just like, oh shit i'm doing a brown route <laughs> like it's like a v5 i'm making it a v2 <laughs> i said i gotta add some slipperiness factor bro Ugh. you're gross i think i had food poisoning for like literally a whole month like two years ago i got it from uh, zara sushi from actually really i i have my first time ever having sushi <laughs> um because this is why I hated it for so long. Because the first time I had it was from Zares, like the little takeout yeah. trays, right? Ate it, That's and then literally I spent like I, I spent an entire day just like peeing out of my butt, bro. It was <laughs> that was true. true. That's yeah. true. Me too, man. It was yeah. like, and now ever since then I was like, fuck sushi, bro. I'm so just, I'm just not meant to eat this. For context, <laughs> the last last weekend or something, Brie was here and she came rock climbing with us. And, and Drew just happened I, to forget his wallet and his oh. cards and everything, <laughs> so she, he made Bree pay for a full month pass for him. <laughs> I like, forgot my wallet, and it was the day that my membership expired. Which is like fifty bucks. <laughs> it was it was sixty. I'm not a student. <laughs> I must say, Drew, that, that's a work of art. You timed that perfectly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so Shane texts me. He's like, "Classic skips out Saturday, skips out Monday." Skipped out last Wednesday, <laughs> putting Bree's money to good use. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what he's like, LOL. And then he's like, oh, but t- to, to be honest, it's, it's a <laughs> fair. He's like, yeah, okay, it. fair though, fair. You should um, honestly just not go for the rest of the month just to piss off Bree. No, that's well, I paid her back. Oh, no, then it's that's not her, it's just funny. He's yeah. not paying her back. He's like, fuck that. No, I mean, she takes so long to accept e-transfers. I paid her back as soon as we got home, and two days later, she accepted it. I'm <laughs> oh, like, you just had $60 sitting in limbo. Yeah, I didn't Why? Nice. I Like, Annie paid me for the rent, I think, a month ago, and I still haven't accepted it. I just have auto deposit into my bank. I can't I need to that. figure it out. Why? Because yeah, I use, the, like, same uh, two different accounts on the same email. You can still do that. I yeah, have a, but I have two emails. But so it could I just have one going in the account. BMO, one going in the Oh, RBC. you don't want to go to your like, checking for savings, right? Or well, like business versus personal. Oh, no, business okay. versus personal checking savings, same thing. Where's the line? That's fair. Oh, yeah. you, don't, you, don't, you don't want random e-transfers going into your business account. Yeah. Why not? You get because then I, some shit? Well, because if I get audited, they're going to be like, what's this $5 deposit from Drew? Where did it go? <laughs> technically, your business account is oh, for you're, business you, uses. Because you expense shit off yeah. your business account. Oh, uh, okay. That makes more sense now. Have Which all random money things coming in. There. I actually got scared because when I was in Japan, I had I was using my business card for everything. And then third day of the trip, right before we went to the Kobe beef place, my card got rejected <laughs> at the ATM. Oh, and I was gosh. Like, they cut them off. And it was like a uh, card ca- like canceled. Call your credit card company. And I was like, oh, how shit. fucking freaked out were you? I was freaking the fuck out. And when we were like uh, sitting down, I told the guy, I was like, if my card doesn't work, I need one of you guys to pay for me and I'll just pay you back. 
And they were like, okay, that's fine. And then when I went to the front, I was the first one to go, and my card got declined. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And Sets the bar like, high for the rest of your group. And, I, and then they all paid, and I was like, I'll go again. And, and then, then he's like, oh, by the way, we should get some uh, Wagyu beef after. By the way, it's a, when he has a pan for me, <laughs> I just tipped that guy two bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No tipping in Japan, which is very nice. Really? Yeah. Um, but my card actually did end up working, oh, which sure. was great. So you didn't get, you didn't fall victim to credit fraud. No, that's good. Unlucky. But yeah, so that was Dang probably it, my I'll favorite time. thing of Japan. There's credit no fraud. tipping, <laughs> no tipping, <Credit> fraud. <laughs> <laughs> no tipping. And apparently if you leave your money there, they will like take it and run after you and be like, you forgot your money. Did you test it? No, yeah, I didn't, who's but, saying that? Yeah, I, uh, if I leave like ten bucks on the table at McDonald's, no one's running after <laughs> Dude, me. Dude, they and they're say like, it. "Yo, four McDoubles." <laughs> yeah. Well, so that's the thing that's so crazy with Japan. The culture was very different in that when you walk around the stores at night, they don't have like those gates. That's sick. That lock it in. It's completely really? open. Like you so could you walk, walk into in? the store and you could take stuff if you wanted, but they don't. Like no one does that, so they don't. I gotta Father. Move, I'm moving to Japan from the sound of it. <laughs> I'll be a millionaire. Rob's like, okay, all right. <laughs> and the entire time I was there, I never saw a single piece of garbage on the street. Not on the sidewalk, not on the street, not in any area. All the bathrooms were super clean except for the McDonald's one. How many robots? Um, That's a legitimate question, actually. Like, how much? Actually, probably hundreds. You just didn't know. Yeah, you probably. Probably, they were probably walking amongst you, man. You mm-hmm. have no idea. Because like, I feel I feel like in all the movies that depict Japan, it's like robots are robots just and everywhere. vending machines. It's like cyberpunk well, okay. almost. Yeah. Like. The vending machines, I completely forgot about that. That was crazy. Everywhere told, you go, you. there's a vending machine. Like, There's three vending machines every block. But they, but they sell everything most of them were like food <laughs> yeah but, but there still. were a few that had like just random shit in it like oh do you need a pen or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i could use yeah, that here yeah, sometimes. Yeah, right. <laughs> how'd you know there's been times when i've been in need of like a pen or some sort of object like that you know yeah, for a test or something they're they're nutty there with like convenience and everything there is just so optimized they have no like hassle on anything is there any like homeless people walking around or no i only saw one okay that's probably the monk who asked you for money. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah read in his street clothes. I didn't see any in Tokyo. I only saw it in the first city. Okay. So. Wait, so where'd you you were in Tokyo? We were in Tokonami for the event and Tokyo for the after. Tokonami in Tokyo? Hmm. Is one like the little brother? I think Tokonami is actually like a <laughs> state, but I don't know what the name of the city was that we were in. Did you visit the Canadian embassy? Yes. Actually? Trudeau was there. Actually. No. Well, I don't know. That's a that's a, that's a pretty non-strange thing. Why would I visit the embassy? Just for, for fun. fun. I, I visited the Canadian embassy. If, actually, I forget where, but my parents took me there. We were on vacation in Uganda. Yeah, but that's white. <laughs> that's white people stuff. I don't know. It's fun. Just kind of st- like, just we, talk to another Canadian. They're like, let's go somewhere where it's free and we don't have to that's experience like really new cultures. Old, old, yeah. Yeah. We don't actually have to walk around or talk to anyone. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like Canadian. I'm with, I'm with you, Rob. That's yeah, because like... you're white. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? What's, what's wrong with going you're to see your white. country's embassy? I don't know. Like, you just Who cares? Like, you just like, why say, would hey, you... I'm Canadian. I'm here t- on vacation. It's How like cool a, is it's this? It's like a huh? slice oh, of I'm home gonna go when to, you're on vacation. I'm going to go to Shin Temple Temple or I'm going to go to the Canadian <laughs> embassy. Uh, uh, <laughs> you which one? You go to one after the other. Oh, yeah, you get the God. best of both worlds, man. Oh, one last thing. One last thing that this is completely unrelated, but um, I think we would all love this if they had it here. We went to a noodle place, ramen place called Ichiran, mm-hmm. and so you walk in. Um, did I tell you about it? I think so. Yeah. yeah so you, you have walk- to talk to anyone. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so, Rob, I haven't told you. Oh, fuck. Um, so you walk in, and there's a like vending machine, basically. You yeah. put in the coins, and you choose what you want, and it gives you a little ticket. And then they take you to these booths, which are all like. When, you know when you're in university studying at the library and they're all like the little cubicle booths? I didn't study much at the university, but... But you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Wait, sorry. Yeah. You say they take you. Like, did you actually have like a waiter? Or like do, you, a, do you mean you just found like, like a... Like a hostess. You like stand okay. on like, a walk- belt and goes... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even that. Like she walked us to like a place where it was just said, wait here. And then at the top, they have like three bars. And at like the top Walmart, you have... please uh, go to booth four? <laughs> no, it's like... Uh, it Please shows go. all the booths Cash with like numbers and like lights. So if it's red, <laughs> it's busy. And then if it's green, you can go. So you just wait for them to turn green and then you go sit wherever it is. Lots of noises. But then, so Rob, you go there and you sit in booths and they have like this little window thing and you put your ticket there. They take it and then they close the window. They go to the kitchen, get your food, bring it and then close the window again. It's just like you're in your own little isolated booth. And oh, if shit. you want, you can open it so you can talk to the people next to you. If you have friends. If you have friends that are there with you. 
That nope. sounds pretty cool. Even if you do have friends, that's not getting open. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty. I don't know, man. I think I need a culture shock because I'm like, I need to explore the world. I want to. No, really, you don't. I, really I want to go, go to Norway. Norway. You need to get a job. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, update on that situation, I guess. Oh, bank account update. Bank account update. Oh, we're, so we're back. We're hovering around seventy bucks right now. Hey. Nice. Yes. So, where'd made, you, wait, where'd this cash influx come from? Huh? My parents had a. They, they felt <laughs> uh, very bad for me. I thought, I thought they <laughs> shut off the bank of parents. Let's just say I gave them the waterworks one day, and it just worked. Worked like a charm, like it hey. always does. Oh, I want to interject real <laughs> quick here. I'm sending because, this to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> because Rob claims. Remember when we talked about hereditary? Sure. When he claims I fucking ran to my parents' <laughs> bed and slept in it with them, and all I did was go and say, "Hey, I'm fucking freaked out from this movie," and they were like, "That sucks. Go back to bed." You definitely said you got into bed. Wait, how when? old? How uh, old? Like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, no, th- this was in an earlier podcast. I for never, sure. I when you re- said you like you got into bed with them after because you were scared. I did not. You did. Well, say I didn't, it. Like, I it, said sounds, it, it sounds creepy now, but yeah, in context, if, it's not if that I creepy. Said it, I, d- I didn't do I it. Think I think. But I don't, I st- I'm still not convinced I said it. I got to listen to this back. If I and said it, I didn't do it. I'll, I'm sure someone in the YouTube comments will be like, actually, if you go to exactly this timestamp yeah, here on this episode, someone hook us up. Whoever does that, I'll send you a picture of me smiling. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, you gave your parents the waterworks, got money. Um, <laughs> Look, mom, it's a picture. It's a picture of Rob smiling. Uh, what was I even saying, man? You signed it. Uh, oh, bank account update, okay. seventy bucks. Enough. I'm trying to talk here, man. <laughs> Relax, Christian. Fuck. So I went from having z- like zero hope, not even a glimmer, and dollars, and zero dollars, okay. zero hope or anything. To now, I'm actually I could come into a position where I have to choose between two potential job offers. Buddy's cruising. Ooh, can so, you tell us where? Or uh, yeah, kind of sort better of. not. Better yeah. not. Like yeah. I won't. I won't get into the details. But okay. one of them was uh, set up or as a part time job selling like phones and stuff through our good okay. friend. You can say his name, Nine. right? Yeah. Nine, yeah. Um, where he works, <laughs> um, and like, he he was great. He did a lot of like behind the scenes work to get me in there quick. So I, I'd feel kind of bad, but then. The other has flip sides, like a, like a job job got back to me um, this week and I had a phone screen today, a phone interview in two days. It pays well. It's very secure. Is it the government one? No. Okay. They're, 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 they're taking so long, I might just like write it off. I emailed them uh, today to say like, hey, what's up? But now you know how it feels like when we ask you to hang out and you keep saying no. No, I respond. No, no. I just say no. That's the only difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, the uh, problem I'll, is you don't say no. You're oh, like, you're yeah, yeah, no, you're like, yeah I'll come climbing. Yeah. You're like, oh, um, yeah, I'll try to schedule it in. And then the day of, Sorry, And then finally man. we start like messing with you enough. You're like, okay, man, I promise I'll do this. <laughs> and then the day of. And then as soon, yeah. as, I, as soon as I leave you guys' company, it's like, do I really want to do that? It's just like, oh, fuck. It's a fucking asshole. <laughs> but. I love how Rob normally wears like a I wish I was Irish type type shirt and now he's like athletic coordinated. Yeah, this looks what what do you great. Mean? You got like today, the gray hat matching with the gray trainers. Dude, and I, then I like came the... from the gym like not too long ago. You look great. Thanks, man. I I just grabbed the shirt out of my wardrobe. I honestly, <laughs> oh, this I honestly, old thing? I honestly <laughs> thought this was like a, a shirt that had a, a New York Jets logo on it, but nah, maybe next yeah, time. Kind of good. Well, anyways, so the job. Yeah. Um, before I was, before I was rudely yeah. interjected, I don't even know who to single out here. I think it was near Not shame. Us, really. yeah. Um, so like there's the selling phones when there's the, the, the career, the job, job looks very attractive. It's very, it's right up what I want to do too. It's like lots of communicating with clients and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll know probably by the middle of next week what I'm going to do, but bottom line is I'll have a fucking job finally. Hey. have some money to do stuff well how Absolutely. long do you have to respond to the like part-time job i don't know i'm gonna because like i'm gonna like keep them and like i'm not gonna not tell them yeah but because like they were they, like like nile and then the, the the management of that store has been really like cooperative and great to like kind of expediting it yeah bypass <clears throat> bypass i'm getting choked up just talking about it man god damn <laughs> Remember the last time He's Rob bypassed so the much. standards of a job? Yeah, yeah but that was yikes. to fucking change tires in a shithole. It's going to be so. so funny when he, he, he shows up with Nile and Nile and like the rest of the people are just off the side staring at him. Like, <laughs> can I help this guy fix his phone? What are you doing? <laughs> Rob just... Say, so, you didn't do the phone training? Yeah, come on. You didn't go to phone college? <laughs> and Nile's the one roasting him. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just a whole master plan for now let's have someone to roast at work but exactly. probably um and he succeeded <laughs> yeah probably but yeah i don't know i gotta decide between those two options very shortly how long do you think your parents are gonna wait from when you get a job to start when they start charging you rent well they're gonna the plan is for me to like once i kind of break even on the de- i didn't have to take any student debt out or anything which is nice but once i like break even with the money of my parents then they want me out the door 
So yeah, uh, that's still like years well, away. Well, they save yeah. that now, and then they're gonna yeah. get empty nest well, syndrome. Well, actually, like, I, I should I should change that a little bit. They they're not they're not saying they're not saying to kick me. They just say you stay as long as you want. We'll support you. Blah blah blah. Walking. But like. Hint, hint, nudge, well, nudge. Yeah, my mom's on the more like you know empathetic. Stay with my dad's like I get into the real world, get your own place. <laughs> you also all this don't want to live with your parents. No, I, w- I would like I like I've lived on my own for almost four years total. I'm just, like I got really used to it. So like even living at home now, I still feel like that kind of like nagging feeling of like wanting to be by myself. But mm-hmm. like I would move out as fast as I could financially so mm-hmm. um <laughs> meanwhile we'll drew's just like he's waiting to, for the day his parents die so he just never has to leave the house <laughs> no, i gotta figure out where my job is next year then I'd yeah. True. yeah goodbye my friend we could, we could move out goodbye, we could become lover. roommates drew we're yeah, gonna miss do you. it we although are. my mine isn't in town it's in another town Rob, we'll, to mo- we'll move upstairs yeah we'll we'll move into the floor above you guys and just what? stomp around how far away 20 minutes okay it's not it's not part far. of the tri-city i was cities. expecting you to be like hey, okay yeah, yeah. yeah i was expecting you to be like oh it's in ottawa where, where i used to work <laughs> it's the uh third part of the tri-cities Ooh. you know what that, did you know what know what that is <laughs> yeah the roughest one <laughs> All right, the, the thirty grit. I'll, I'll so work, I'll work there for for like six months, and I'll have be tatted to shit. The nine hundred five bald, yeah. nine hundred five shooters. Yeah. So, out of all of us, Drew's gonna be the first one to leave, potentially. Yeah. To do what? If there's not potential. You're leaving. You're, you're leaving, leaving for what? You never know. So, okay. I can almost. You don't there's, just know. You're. We'll leaving. make Bree leave. There's no Good way. Luck. There's no way you're ever <laughs> you're, gonna you're be able to get free here. Big of a bitch. Yeah, maybe. No, if she I get her a sick job here. She maybe. wears the pants in the relationships. No. You have no way. What are you talking about? Leaving what? He's okay, good. Leave uh, like the like city. When his leave job us. is done, he, he's he's into the real world. Well, like once you have a job at the place you're at now, sort but of. Like maybe who knows? But it might be anywhere in but Canada. But it's across Canada. Man, yeah, put so me in anywhere. I'm sure if you put me in BC, Drew's back. Oh no! Put me in Yellowknife. He's gonna move to Australia. Yeah, BC, Australia. Australia's not in Canada. I don't know. What about uh? Rob, just start mentally preparing. We're losing the guy. No, I'm already prepared. He'll stay around. He has to. No, I'll have a whip though. Just come back every weekend. I'll see Bree during the week, so I won't have to fulfill that obligation. <laughs> and then I'll just come whip the here on you the weekend. You say that. Checks up all the boxes. Happen. It'll happen. You no. say that. So you do realize you'd have to work like a nine to five job, and then you have to drive here in rush hour traffic no, once on a week. Weekend. Oh, yeah. So I think, rip podcast. I, I yeah. think no, we'll no. just do podcast I think on in Sunday. In your current you position. Go. I think in your current position, Man, with all the resources guys... you have around you, oh. you could easily get a job in town. No, he think. could. Well, he could, but he's not but, going to. But the limiting factor is Bree. Yeah. Whereas he's, he's actually gone. without exposing too much how far away. The armpit away. of Ontario. Oh, okay. It was an hour away. <laughs> you guys could make a compromise. Like, are you planning on like moving in together? Is that the thing? or No. I really talked about we're it. We're just sitting here evaluating Drew's future. Yeah, I know. I'm just, we're just sitting here putting him on roast. And he probably <laughs> hasn't even... He hasn't put one thought in. Yeah. Bree's convinced she's never moving out, so... Oh well, because mm. she, she lives, she lives at the zoo. She's got everything she needs. <laughs> <laughs> they have like got two the giraffes. <laughs> got the yeah. popcorn. Yeah, exactly. I can't, I can't draw a line between. Does she actually have two giraffes somewhere? <laughs> no, 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 she's <laughs> got like four she's dogs like and a bird. <laughs> yeah, oh, she okay. Had four dogs and a bird. So whenever I used to go play Smite, but I was like. Like Bruce at work and I was playing Smite in her bed. Yeah, they'd just hear like a dog bark. But you hear like a bunch of different dogs. You're like, that's a big what? All you hear is like an elephant. And then <laughs> one, and then one day there's like this squawk. I'm I like, was not an elephant at all. Is that a bird in the background? <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a bird there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna say Hannah. Um, I think she listened to last week's podcast and she said Uh-oh. she was bitter at you for what? Classic. Or whatever the When's no she the not two weeks ago number nine where where she's just like I don't talk to horse haters. <laughs> I'm not a horse hater. I'm a he's, horse he's, terrified no, person. He's a, he's a horse distruster. Yeah, I just don't trust being in their presence, man. <laughs> they're they're a wild animal. No matter how hard you train them or whatever, they 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 could flip out at the smallest. Can like, you say that he's about right. dogs? Like, there's been a couple of times. I guess in Red the dog Dead, is much more manageable. In Red Dead, where I'm like petting my horse and it just drop kicks me. <laughs> yeah. So I I feel you. Shane kept booting me off his horse the other day. There's there's been many times too where I can just I just take my horse and for some reason everyone's just stops at cliffs and mine just like <laughs> just no we're going. good <laughs> we're good and you fall fifty feet it's like he, that, like, it's he like got the, the horse that most suits his personality <laughs> <laughs> what's what's that place that's like a natural site in somewhere in the states like head smashed in buffalo jump or something oh where they all the, the, the literally just like herds of herd buffalo them in and they just all go off the they cliff. all jump off the side of a cliff yeah. I don't know why they do it I think to it was be in like, wasn't it in like Calgary uh, yeah oh yeah somewhere in Canada do they yeah. eat it. 
Yeah, yeah, then they eat them. Okay. But that's it's all they, kill. they just like take a bunch of the herd, lead them this way, <laughs> and they like... all just jump off this cliff. <laughs> Natural oh. selection. Like, let's look at how stupid buffalo yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all the smart ones stop at the hill and look down. Like, Randy, stop, bro. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to jump. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the human overlord says we must. <laughs> oh, the ones who stop, you're like, all right, try again next year. Yeah. <laughs> Different cliff. It's like breed this one. Get him. Uh oh. Drew, Drew, Drew just broke the Lego set. You broke my Lego. Yeah. You bitch. Oh god. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Why mentioning are we build that. Never. Um. Cool. Once we have the new podcast set up, which cool. brings me to the segment I want to talk about. Since cool. Drew said that we'll just move the podcast to Sunday, apparently. It's is football that, Sunday. Yeah, it's not happening. Okay. Saturday. It can't whatever, happen man. either. It's Friday. Oh, football. There's a lot Friday, of shit happening on Friday, Saturday, Friday. too. Anyway. Monday, fine. Thank you. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're looking into making the new podcast room probably this week going into next week. We're going to go get all the stuff probably this week, which includes oh, we're going to have like... What? Nothing. It all makes sense now. Why I asked you to go to Ikea with me? Yeah. Oh my. I said it was for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, playing yeah, Pokemon. Yeah. You can't. Okay. So the the plan we have for the room that I've drawn out is we're going to have a rectangular desk similar to my computer desk. Which everyone can see you pointing. Rectangle at. gang. Most people understand. Um, and then <laughs> we're going to have four Wait, chairs. Well, I, some people might not know what a rectangle is. <laughs> four chairs. Is, you, Becca? is it a quadrilateral? <laughs> Oh, it has all. It has two. It has two it has sets of even length. Three sides. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Four chairs, two on either side, and then what I just came up with and thought about the other day is having a TV mounted on the wall at the end of the table, so that whenever we want to pull something up, okay. it can go. Are you gonna straight. actually let us fucking Google stuff? Because I past three times I've asked you to Google something, you're just like because you oh, asked no. to Google the stupidest fucking shit. That <laughs> Brent doesn't Burns. Like, yo. We all know who Brent Burns is. It doesn't matter if he knows because he's not gonna care. <laughs> it's a hockey player. She was like, "Quick, Google a his, cut open seal, bro." <laughs> 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 yo, Google a seal getting clubbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Drew. So his yes, viewers it, are gamers. They don't know what Brent Burns looks like. Yeah, so when he's editing, he can bring up a picture. Yeah, but he's too lazy. He won't. <laughs> so it will be. For Googling, yeah, so you can point. Google it. Will we all have Just a keyboard? Just give him the keyboard. And what okay. we're going to do is Beautiful. have... Done. We're going to have three cameras set up, one in the middle, so it can see all four of us and the TV. And I'm going to hope I have a camera set up where it can actually like, capture the TV and not look like really weird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the other two cameras will be like two or one facing two of us, one facing the other two. But that's where it's going to be complicated whether I can stream it or not. It sounds like we're going to be tripping over wires... There's going to be a lot of wires, a lot of management, but I'm going to try really hard to make it as efficient <coughs> have you as possible. Seen that you have a streaming computer. Well, so I can set it up where I have recording on one computer <laughs> and streaming Patience. on another, but then I have to start like that gets even more crazy with cables. Like you got to do splitters. You got to do multiple things, multiple sources. It's not you nice. Just tape them up onto the wall in a cool pattern. Just You just need a fourth camera. Have you seen it? Have you seen a H stack it on top of the one that's looking at all of us? Uh, that's actually it's a. That's possible. Have you seen H 3s set up how they have their podcast? Yeah. They, ha they have a whole building dedicated to it. Yeah, like so they have a table, and then there's like people on either side of it, and then there's a TV and just one camera facing down the whole thing. It's like you're watching like yeah, a they, like the live stream of like the they house also have a bunch of cameras because there's times where it's panned in on this guy, it's yeah, yeah. On this. Like there's but, definitely not, and he's got like a team of like four, doesn't he? Yeah, he has right. four but people. But still, like, just the bottom line is like four, like the table. We'll get there. We'll get like there. we're sitting here facing like this. The TV's here. Just put a camera here. He already went through his camera. That, plan. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> Well, it's hard to visualize with your hands going over the he fucking place. He said one facing <laughs> down, looking at everyone in TV. Two, like, pretty much in between. So, like, one's looking at this set of people. One's looking at this set of people. Okay. So, you got your one that's, camera. That's pretty I much said what one I was looking trying to at two people, yeah. One yeah. looking at two people. One looking down the middle yeah, at all. Look at this. Are you Italian all of a sudden? Like, <laughs> and then you get the, the pizza pie. <laughs> the pizza pie. Yeah. A Dante. A Dante. <laughs> see, this is where the video podcast will be nice because people can actually see what we're doing. <laughs> But that probably won't happen until episode 13. All they're literally going to see is me and Drew just fucking around with shit. Whatever is near us, we're just fiddling around with the see, whole like, time. Drew playing footsie with Shane's chair. <laughs> yeah, and literally then, like... kicking me the whole time. <laughs> I, me standing in my chair. Yeah, you know. And I can't wait for this next setup because then Drew will finally not be able to swivel around in his chair. You bet I will. He's just, literally going to buy, buy a chair that can swivel. He's going to yeah. get three swivel chairs and one that just is a solid like wooden chair. Just shit. <laughs> Just well, the bulky, like old dining room chair has handles and everything. <laughs> yeah. The plan is to get four more of the chairs that Shane and Rob are on right now, which are like kind of bar leather stools. bar stools. Uh, yeah, count me out. 
But okay, sure. the, the <laughs> whole reason I want <laughs> the whole reason I want you guys to come is because since you guys are gonna be sitting in the chairs, <gasps> I want you to test them. Thursday, I want you to be when? able to decide which chairs yeah, we wait, get. What day did we set? Uh, probably Thursday or Wednesday. All right. Hopefully, I'm not either. Busy. Or works. Tuesday well, I can't, but the rest Wednesday's of the, the only day I can't. All right, Thursday let's go is. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna come Thursday anyway. Oh, you're oh, right. I love IKEA, bro. I'm down for IKEA. Yeah, you love climbing too. We'll, we'll probably do it right after I've stream. I've always wanted to try it. Man. No, I'm kidding. So, like, I'll stream on Thursday, and then I'll just go pick you guys up, and then we'll drive Sorry. up. All right, so you have to study the I'm rest only going of that if, night. if I can go to Tucker's. Okay. Twist my arm. Oh, just, just don't bring me anywhere that's too expensive, bro. Uh, like actually, bucks. by by then, I by Thursday I could potentially. Twenty. It'll be a celebratory meal. Yeah. If I, I I could Rob, know I'll by pitch Wednesday. Five dollars. Yeah. I'll chip meal. five. He'll chip ten. We're good. If we, I, could, yeah, I could I could ask the the Commonwealth. They came my parents. I get paid Thursday, Rob. You get you get six dollars. Yes. If, Seven. If we vlog <laughs> it, eight. I can business expense the dinner. We're oh, vlogging, oh. boys. <laughs> so that's the one thing I wanted to test also with this is I want to see if I can do better with vlogs if we have like someone de- dedicated on the camera, whether it be me or one of you guys. Hey, I'll, I'll... Because like I think the most awkward thing for me personally when I try to vlog is being the cameraman and not seeing what's happening as well as like trying to be the personality <laughs> I on vote screen. Drew just number it, one because I've never seen the world from his height. <laughs> That's great. Like I'd love to see walk it. around holding it above my head. <laughs> I'd love to see Oompa Loompa cam. And number two because like Oompa Loompa cam. It, the footage will literally give Drew a seizure because it's going to be like this <laughs> and I can't wait. I can't Man, wait. Christian and I went to an event at our school and we had to videotape a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I killed true. it. So you guys have hands-on experience. Dude, look, yeah. dig deep. There, we did a Toronto vlog way back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that one was really good because I was, uh, I never actually like showed myself on camera, really. I just walked yeah. around and followed people. That so was one that, of the funniest things Was that when I went to get try out the Switch? You weren't there. No. Oh. It was like me, Sarah, like Amanda, maybe? Yeah, Amanda was there. Well, we, we've done some sister. Ikea vlogs. <laughs> we were like walking through Toronto and like, oh, all now I remember is them, oh, finding that. Like, wait, that's Amazon, bro. I was about to buy something. <laughs> Finding like that banana on the street, be like, what the hell? <laughs> Someone died here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what I want to buy for the vlog is it's called like a gimbal. Gimbal. So you put your. Oh, it's got the gyro. Yeah. So you put your phone on it and it stabilizes <laughs> Again, it. Gyro. We need the camera for that. <laughs> the gyro. Drew's over here jerking off in his uh, chair. Excuse me. <laughs> but I'll probably order that tonight then, because if we're actually gonna do it, it'll be worth it. Yeah. Wednesday, well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Thursday. Thursday. Give it to me, bro. I'll, just, I'll take a POV of my. I feel like I have Which, some, but I probably don't. I never realized since Shane's leaving on Friday, so he's not going to be on next week's podcast, which oh. is why we're going to do the video on when he's back. But also that means you have no excuse to not play Siege. You got a week. I, you better I get your content. to get my content. I got the Sifa coming up. Yeah, but like... Syphilis? Yeah. You know, take, an, take literally cut an hour off Red Dead, cut an hour off um, Pokemon, you got two hours. Isn't there. Red Dead broke for you now true, anyways? True, true. Isn't it's okay. Yeah. Well, for him, it's busted. For me, it works fine. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it was so funny because I, the first night I play with them, um, my game crashes within five seconds, and yeah. Drew's just laughing his ass off because he's just like, because I could tell as soon as I joined, he's like, oh, I've heard so many people with i9s have been having issues. He's like, I can't wait for you to crash because I've been but making fun of you. So I, this guy's been roasting me. Yeah. So I crash roasting on, me. I crash immediately. I'm like, oh, I think it's just a graphic thing, and inside I'm freaking out. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't let him have this moment. And then it didn't crash the rest of the night. I was like, when yes. it crashed, you were like, oh, I'm just restarting it to do something. Yeah. Your- so I'll oh, just change the settings. <laughs> <laughs> first impression though fun it was fun i was telling drew when we were playing siege i think the one thing that i'm kind of like i guess somewhat worried about is how grindy it seems because 100 like, it's really from, grindy oh see drew said the opposite he said it Whoa. wasn't but i've from what i've <laughs> listened to you guys talking about where you guys were saying like oh we got to go hunt this we got to go hunt this i'm like that doesn't seem too appealing see, i think it'd be fun but we do that as a choice oh, say, to I me them. i love the hunting in the game so i will hunt squirrels all day <laughs> but um yeah, it's grindy. It is. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, he, was, he was saying that because you were like, we always have to be hunting. But I'm like, that's what we choose to so, always So be we doing. hunt and then you fill up and then it takes like two hours for that bar to end. Yeah. So you got two hours to fuck around. We do bounties. We yeah. So yeah, well, that's what I was telling Drew is just like, I haven't played it besides that. So mm-hmm. like all I've heard is what you guys say. So you I, played I, poker. I'm, I'm a little afraid of I the can't grind. I believe but... that we sat there and played poker for like two hours. Yeah, it, we were. Uh, it was we like started... a full on like. Literally Actual just yeah, poker yeah. in the game. They're like all five of us are sitting at a table playing poker in the game. I, just, I lost, bought back in, and then won. <laughs> and they killed us. It's like GTA. Or like I didn't realize you could play tennis and shit in the yeah. last one. But like we again. But like I'm pretty sure it was like two hours. Yeah, it was and then a we while. spent about an hour after just killing each other. That, and that, then 
that gives me a spur of the moment question. What's the most mundane task inside a video game you spend a lot of time on? Like something really mm-hmm. stupid. For example, for me and Skyrim, I spent about four hours going back and forth, enchanting a, a piece of armor to make better potions, and then the potion, then make a potion that is a higher enchantment to your armor. You yeah. go back and forth, back and forth, so like you just have some fuck. I think I, I think know what Shane says. Yeah. What? You tell me. Fishing. Yeah, well, and fishing, Far Cry. Yeah, well, any game, yeah. man. But the fishing in Art Red Dead so good. It's it's, it's, it's actually it's, it's like realistic, realistic, but fishing. it's still fucking fishing in a video game. Yeah, but like you can like <laughs> you can like turn the whole rod. You can like jerk it to get them to come. <laughs> <laughs> again with the, the hand motions. You can choose yeah. different so bait. You can like ch- change the speed you're reeling. I kind of forgot there was a point where I was like trying to get a hundred smithing in Skyrim. Yeah, so just I, iron all daggers. you do is iron, oh, daggers, iron daggers, and that yeah. took me like a, a day yeah. or two of just literally producing iron daggers, selling them, getting all the resources, doing it over yeah. and over. I'm Leather like, strips and ironing gets yeah. over and over and over again. Man, the dragon bone armor looked so good though. Yeah, it does. Dragon bone armor. Worth I'm it, playing yeah. Skyrim again right now, actually. I've been on my really? Switch, but I yeah. haven't been playing. That's really, really fun. Really? Really? I've heard it doesn't run well on the Switch. Is that true? It's it wouldn't okay. surprise it's, me. It's, it's like a... How old is it's it? It's like now? seven or eight years old by now, They didn't too. change anything to put it in. They just yeah. made it look pretty. And uh-huh. take so in... all I, the original issues are still there. I go to reinstall Skyrim the other day, or like, what, a week ago? And it was, it's only 5.1 gigabytes. Go, yeah. And it seems crazy. Game. Yeah, and that I seems was like, crazy. what the... The TTS for fucking Siege is like 58 gigs. RDR is 120. Oh, I have a yeah. fucking rant about this guy. Okay. Oh, so, God. Rob, Down. this asshole... This beefcake. Every single time when the TTS comes out, I tell him, <laughs> I, I say, this. Rob, download the TTS so we can play together. And at the end, <laughs> when we're done playing, I'm like, Rob, don't delete the TTS because if you do... You're going to have to re-download it. My this motherfucker always every single to. time deletes the TTS. And then the next season when it comes out, he's just like, oh, how big is the update? I'm like, oh, it's only 7 gigs as long as you kept the TTS. <laughs> he starts to download. What the fuck, man? Why is it 80 gigs? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened for the last year. It's because I go to there do my desk cleanup or whatever to make room. Although I, for some reason I say... Room for what? Just more shit. For more know. porn. Yeah. yeah. I, go, I go to like... Uh, I don't know. Well, first off, I have everything saved to my SSD for some reason. My actual like memory has like five things on it. I don't know. I someone's got to explain how to figure that out. But, uh, <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Like for like, everything, automatically it has saved onto my SSD ever since day one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because it's your C drive. Yeah, but so like I have my D drive is yeah. That's it's like hard empty. Drive. It just has all the program files on. Yeah, it. when you install stuff, you're just supposed to change the path from C to D. That's well, literally all you. Th- it, it, there's literally a text box, and you can just yeah, like I just press backspace I just, on the I'm C. I'm just clicking next most of the time. Yeah, so that's on you. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> For some reason, it always downloads. No, to, uh, but I, uh, I was doing the disk cleanup, and it was like t- it recommends what you can delete based on the last time you used it, and it's like TTS, and I was like, fuck it, just delete Overwatch. No, I actually put Overwatch yesterday too, although it was not fun at all. <laughs> So like, a couple of times we played, we it was actually yeah, really it was fun. really fun. When you have just one more person to play with, it's a completely different. I was just, game. That's how I, I feel about Siege. Yeah. I would literally, I just for like four straight games, pocket healed Rob. Oh, we were just and destroying Rob just people. Carried every single game. I, I played Roadhog, and I was like forty-seven and three or something like. But that. But like not exaggerating, like actually literally. just went off. We were just roasting. I, I as, soon, as soon as I took a any sort of damage, I'm still at full health because Shane's right behind me. <laughs> I literally just pocket healed the whole team. And that was Diva. Oh, that game I was playing as Diva was really fun, also, but. Anyways, I could reminisce on Overwatch forever if I had so to. So shit like that makes me wonder if you can like be that shit quote like unquote that makes me wonder. He says if you can be that quote unquote good at like Overwatch or yeah. Call of Duty, Uh-oh. why are you so bad at Siege? Because Siege is just the most. It's just I don't know what you're saying. Like today, it's he, completely he played different. Pretty, he played pretty well. You gotta say I'm like, trying. It was good. To be fair, we there were was also... one where you're like, okay, let's see what Rob does, and he like bang. He like he's like up and down, yeah. and then he lifts up, headshots the guy like a pixel above drum, and I'm like, and you're like. Okay, yeah, what see? Yeah, that was surprising. I knew he was there. It was so I, clean. I knew he was there. It popped up bang. It's it like, was so clean though. Yeah. But in defense, every K okay, COD play a shit ton of, Overwatch play a shit ton of, blah blah blah. All those games I'm really good at. Like they're just they're like really, Running really gun. fast paced. You respawn, like you like it's just like there's a lot of shit happening at once. Siege is the only game I play where it's like you got one hold shot. Hold an angle, wait. You have one chance at killing someone. Yeah, literally, you have one shot. One and opportunity. Like, literally it is it is very tactical yeah, yeah and, and like every other game two. i play i'm used to just running fucking head first and right, just yeah. doing again, whatever like from the bit i watched today well when i lifted my head out of the pokemon screen when <laughs> yeah. it's like oh, like you played fine I was trying, you played good yeah, i was trying see shane here's shane's here to pick me up yeah 
Again, he actually played be- like yeah. good. Yeah, I pl- I put in like probably like twenty hours when you were gone. Yeah, this fucker. I leave for Japan, so he plays every day of the week that I'm gone. <laughs> no, it was fun because the first three games I played by myself, I won. It was so, so sick. I'm like, Man, maybe I can finally get like finally get get in into get this good. game. Yeah, and then of course, set next game, four or three people leave off my team after the first round. Second game, one person leaves. Third game, two people leave. Seven games in a row, at least one person <laughs> left. Like three times, it was three more people. I'm in the same boat as you right now. Like on my solo like, count, I w- this, I want to fucking quit. It's yeah. pissing me off. Yeah, and it's like, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to finish this game with one other teammate in the and it's round two of like five or whatever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or four? It's like, can you spo- surrender? You can, but the other person in your team never just for some reason just won't do it. Fair. That's what I found. Yeah, and it's just like fuck. I don't want to quit because then it fucks me over. But then at the end, do I really want to waste had a half hour of my time sitting in this? Mm-hmm. Hard no. Exactly. So you should play with Drew so you guys can Buddy, rank up together. Play. He's Buddy, silver five play. now. Oh, fuck. He's what? Silver five. I was gold star and I went to it? silver because I deranked so fucking hard from all these idiots leaving my fucking team. <laughs> you guys just need to play together, rank up, and then I'll pick Rob, up the slack when we you would, get close. We would to spank me. people. We would be, we've played by ourselves before, I think, haven't we? Like Maybe once or twice. twice. Yeah. In the three years that Maybe you guys have owned the game, yes. Yeah. Well, like for for the longest time, Siege was something I would only play with when you were like, let's play Siege. But now it's kind of have that itch to play I, it. I'm due for that like once a month game. So yeah, the, the Legion match. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that one. Like, what are you doing tonight? Four or five Legion mat. <laughs> Capcan or Legion or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about what we did today to Drew, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's going to watch the video. I haven't seen it yet. Don't so spoil it for me. They cocked me. Yeah. We Dude. lied to him about what the new operator does, and he was so fascinated by Aww. it. I'm like, that's so cool. And then You're they dick, told bro. me, like, Ch- Tachanka got a buff. I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, it's just Tachanka now has wheels in the bottom of his turret, so he can move around. <laughs> and we tried. Like, they convinced me to play Tachanka for like two rounds. <laughs> and we tried so hard to make everything like be very obvious to him that it wasn't what it was, and he just was so oblivious the entire well, time. Okay, check it out. You get so focused. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to talk well, about like, it. Fuck it. It's like, man. I I take your word for for like you really saw that you're like okay you know I mean? Rob quick peek to the right you got a pre fire yeah and Rob you were like, like <laughs> you were like quick run outside do this do that and I was like oh fuck let's go and I go and do it and then all I hear is <laughs> turn around and this guy's like barricade at the fucking window so they told me that the cock the the new operators mines are like landmines and if you step on them they hurt the person <laughs> and then they told me that Tachanka. Had his like shield can absorb grenades. We said like it'll like pull the grenade towards it and explode, but it won't hurt so, you. So then they you- had me set up the chonka on a balcony and put one of the mines behind me so that when like people were throwing grenades, it would get sucked into that and they'd be like, oh yeah, the, the chonka thing works. <laughs> yeah. So I knew it was behind me, but I thought Patrick was just putting it at the window so that when someone came in the window, they would like get blown up yeah. and I was safe that way. But they were just fucking with me the whole time. <laughs> Classic. And then the, next the, level. The worst part's like, so we had everything set up to try to be so obvious. Even one time when we were on attack, um, I'm like, Drew, repel at this window. He repels and I throw a grenade. I throw like three grenades. So it will very obviously be in front of him because when it gets absorbed by the new operator, it like floats, gets stunned in the midair and like kind of spins and then flies away. Looks really cool. Yeah, it looks cool. And I did that three times in front of Drew and none of the times it didn't even phase me just sitting there with the sniper. Like I was Cali. So it was like zoomed way in. (laughs) So I didn't see any of that. I'm just like focusing. I'm like, all right, there's guys on the right side. That gun and they're like so just throwing sick. grenades. It's, it's, it's really fun to it's use. It's so different. I was like, and I was watching you play with them. Like, mm-hmm. this is so weird. But hitting a one shot with one of those, that's if yeah. you miss, you're screwed. Yeah, but it's so satisfying hitting that shot. Yeah. yeah. How do you use it? And can you use it in close quarters? It feels like you'd be just trying to track someone the whole time. And no, then you, miss every you shot. can't really use it close quarters. You got to use your secondary, which is like a machine pistol. That Beretta thing, right? Or the whatever it was called, C seven. Well, like the the normal scope is two times an ACOG, right? Yeah, it's a four times scope. ACOG's two point five. Bosch G ACOG. Yeah. Wasn't I recorded yeah. some of that today. Actually, I was actually doing really well with that. I, I don't think it's going to make it to live servers. Bosch G really? Or it'll, I think the shotgun will get nerfed because the shotgun at any range, like even if it's across the map, if you hit them in the chest, it does 78 damage. Nice. So imagine like spawning in, getting hit once by like some bullet across the map. Is that and what you kept you're rushing dead. with? No, I was rushing with the like Finca shotgun gotcha. because that got nerfed, and I want to the see if I could do The boss G is the like 
it has the two barrels and it's on dope being vigil and it does like a bunch of damage but you have to like crack the thing and like load two shells oh, i got you see the old ass fucking it's a slug shot model something were you playing like a, were, were you smurfing today is that why because I, I was watching you play fink and you're just just running a muck half of the time it's a it's <laughs> test server so it's just uh oh, okay you were literally yeah. just destroying everyone i was like what the hell this yeah. is sick i'm god <laughs> kill yeah. feed was pretty fucked it's funny because it's games. either half the time it's you just destroying everyone or half the time you run up to the first window, lose three quarters of your health and like, okay, I'm not rushing in front of a different window. Like, <laughs> okay, we're not doing this now. The worst, the worst is when I'm like on Oregon and I have like a patented Finca rush that I always do. Patented. Mm-hmm. And then Patent the patented. worst thing is like I choose the operator Rockwell we load TM. in. We're, we're in the prep phase and then all I see in the text chat is, Hi, Varsity. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> they know. And then there's someone waiting there for me and just like, <laughs> they know. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then you kill them anyway. Rarely. Huge. All the time. If you were good, maybe. If you were good, maybe. I am good. If bro. I was good, maybe. Yeah, you could do okay sometimes. Not tonight. Did oh. you not do? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like one and eight twice in a row. <laughs> I've had games. I've had. Stre- like, well, I'll play with it on stream, and I'll go like a combined oh one like thirty five cross like. You had streaks. I'm on like a seven year streak of going <laughs> <laughs> getting one kill a game. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, be like five kill assists though, so it balances out. Yeah, I'll never no. forget when Shane played for the first time in a long time, played Legion, and then he just finishes the game like one nine and five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he did his part. He did his part. Yeah. I remember that too. We were, I don't remember. It's the one with like the bathroom connected to like the drug room, or it's like oh, theme a park? room with a pool table. Oh yeah, theme park, theme park. And I would literally like every single defense. You just sit in that stall, set up that whole room with legions. One goes off, boom, one kill. And I'd sit there with a the shotgun and just sit and imagine, wait. Imagine dying to that. <laughs> that. Well, people just drone you out. And you, they know you're there, but if they just can't do anything. Yeah, that, set up uh, like come and get me. Yeah, that map got reworked, and now that bathroom's different. Wait, you can't what? Do it as much. Since it's, when? It's uh, coming out with the new season. Shit. No, theme park got my completely stall reworked. is gone. Strats. My office. The the bathroom's now like. 1.5 times as wide and there's no stalls there's only like there's a oh, bathroom dude. stall and you can hide behind it but yeah. you can't hide between stalls shane that's 1.5 times more lesion traps you can fit in there. it was literally the best thing ever though because what there's two or three stalls yeah so so, they... so when they drone you you just quick hop in the second <laughs> stall <laughs> so they run in the room get hit by the lesion and they're pre-firing the one you just poke it's like your whack-a-mole the other. they're not sure which one it's gonna be <laughs> yeah but they think you're in one because they just droned you out uh, that's that's he the only fun so sure of a pre-fire just bang <laughs> Fun fact, the map reworks are all done by Mike Holmes and Martha Stewart. Mm-hmm. Home interior experts. Shit. And then they go like, when they're announcing the TTS showing the map, they're like, move that bus. And it shows the newly yep, reworked new, map. Newly reworked map. New interior decorations and everything. Yeah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> not going to lie, that'd be sick though. <laughs> yeah, it would be sick. Mike Holmes is a siege character. <laughs> but what does Operator be? Sledge. Fucking... Sledge, yeah. I was gonna say, what <laughs> no, he, he, need, he would need his own, man. It'd probably be like... Sledge, but two... Two like one hand sledgehammers. <laughs> <laughs> just spin in a circle. Yeah. Oh god. Sledge with like a pencil tucked behind his ear. Yeah, that's the only difference. <laughs> All right, we are coming up on an hour and fifteen-ish minutes. So you, you guys, guys get. have any final statements? Sports took. A... See you next week. I'll be quick. Sports. See you next no, you won't. No, I know. <laughs> Sports took a year off my life this past weekend. So no other week. topics? Nothing? Yeah, no, same here, to be honest. I'm just yeah, it lost. was a bad week for the Leafs. A oh, real Leafs are week. shit. Oklahoma had a 25-point comeback. Two what? is dead. Two is dead. My my college quarterback got like, murdered on the weekend. Did you see it? He like, What is it? He, Bro, he, his, got, he yeah, broke his hip or his leg popped out of the socket. And oh. then and it then shattered got... the inside of the hip. I did not yeah. see that. No. <laughs> so like, like Ashley... Like, like he's fucked he's got to relearn how to do everything and then possibly possibly play football yeah he's got to learn how to walk again <laughs> and he also broke his nose which is why like there was a fucking scene and a half this guy's like <laughs> yeah. lying with his leg twisted up and he's got blood pouring out of his it face was gross. I if like anyone how... wants to know how i feel right now look up the pressed Leafs fan at pittsburgh game is that the camera thing where yeah, he's smiling yeah. for the snap <laughs> yeah and they're like down six one and his girlfriend's like oh come on take it take a picture for snapchat and she's like smiling he's like kind of smiling as soon as she takes the picture he just goes this blank face (laughs) fair and then of course the vikings whatever it wins a win wins a win i just whistled for the first time my entire life i can't whistle whoa we got it live on recording oh he can't do oh send the whole thing to his mom 
Don't even play the like, first bit. They, 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 they'll, they'll be like, <laughs> you can whistle now? The longest I was a Our kid. boy has all grown up. <laughs> Wait, can you guys snap with both hands? Yeah. Can you not? This one's weak. My hands are kind of clammy right now, so it's a little hard. I was but... bored on a flight once, and I learned how to snap with my left. Can you snap oh, with multiple I fingers? I can snap with you. both. Look yeah. at this. I was young. Drew, can you snap Those with multiple sh- fingers? Bad snaps. Kind of. Wait, are you just snapping? You're almost, you snap with your ring finger, not your middle finger. But he just asked, can I snap with multiple, multiple. fingers? Multiple. Oh. <laughs> I was in my own world for a sec. I don't think I can snap my... Maybe ring, but not index. What was your pinky? I can do usually three. Not pinky. Yo, not save, not this for, save this for 13. Yeah. <laughs> for a video podcast. We're just sitting here oh, yeah. fucking around with your hands. Um, what? Oh, isn't this 11? Am yeah, this but video this podcast week? will be 13. Hopefully. Why, why not 12? <laughs> Jesus. Because Shane's gone. You just don't listen. <laughs> well, I, I just assumed we were waiting until Shane got back. But okay. We're going to still do the podcast on Monday. <laughs> when Aww. have we skipped the podcast? Rick don't. Shane. We well, literally recorded fine. one ahead of time. Like, normally, yeah, we can record around, but there's no recording around. Shane, record. Shane can record a little message for the end of podcast from Dominican. <laughs> fuck like, everyone. Fuck, <laughs> fuck you guys. It's 40 degrees and sunny here. And I've been hammered since I could land it. Just a deadpan look <laughs> and him so we, sipping we a drink. Extra yeah. so that we can, we have like this all you can eat, all you can drink thing for both airports too. What? Wait, at the airport? Yeah, yeah so, you do. So it's going to be it literally as soon as I get to the airport. Even Pierce. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got, well, you, you have to be careful sleep. though. They won't let you. Yeah, on yeah, okay. So yeah. like, good night is in. I'll sleep through the flight. Yeah, okay. Like, I won't be belligerent, but as soon as I land. But like, That's even at be Pearson? game time. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what the all you. It's, it's, she's like, oh yeah, it's all this food. I'm like, what do you mean? Where it, is this? I want to like one of the special lounges. Uh, yeah, I it think probably so. is. Yeah, because yeah. you those can really you can pay cool. to go in those. It's my, like my it's usually hundred bucks or something. Yeah, it's like an extra like twenty. It's expensive. My old co op took me into one of them, and it was like. I was like, this is in the airport. It's like a fucking five star lounge, and there's yeah. like so much sh- cool shit everywhere. So, last thing I'll say right before we end the podcast, I was pissed because on the flight back from Japan, Priest upgraded his flight from uh, economy to first class. So, he's going from Tokyo to San Francisco. Guess how much it cost him? Like to upgrade? Yeah. Zero. No, thousand bucks. Drew? I think I want to say a hundred, just the, how you're phrasing it. But I'm saying zero because you're phrasing. Well, I, I would price le- is right rules. I'm gonna go a penny. I would legitimately <laughs> think it's like eight hundred, probably four hundred dollars for a twelve hour flight, that's first not crazy class. At all. No, that's like that's doable. Like, are you saying it's too much or too little? That's so cheap. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, how, okay, do you know yeah. how much mine was if I want to upgrade? Oh. Two thousand eight hundred dollars. Wait, why was it so cheap? Hashtag because flying he into just Canada. did it when he checked in. He checked in at the gate. I yeah, checked in at the robot and he's just like, oh, do you have any first class upgrades? And they're like, oh, we have a special promotion since you asked at the gate. We'll give it to you for 400. You sure and then done. I went to like my actual gate number and I was like, hey, do you have any like special promotions? She's like $2,800. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, do you want to know why this happened though? It's a roundabout karma. You didn't tip the Shaolin monk exactly. enough money. Yeah. And he yeah. did. He and folded. he did. <laughs> this guy got me 10 bucks. Uh, first class. You live, you live and you learn. But if I had gone first class, I could have gone to one of those lounges and hung sure. out. Well, that sucks to be you then, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Should have just expensed it. You messed up. Mm-hmm. It's a rough life you live, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. If I, it's like a, a paid flight to fucking, where is it? Japan? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to upgrade it's, uh, it. It's to Yeah. Mandarin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to Cantonese. <laughs> I'm flying to Cantonese. <laughs> That's uh, a good way to end it. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll end it there. Take care, guys. See you next week. Peace out, Girl Scouts.